Priscilla, Joe Smith. Yes, I need to make an appointment with the doctor, please. Yeah, sure, I'll hold. Yeah, July 14th. I'll be there. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure you're tired of hearing about my medical problems, and quite frankly, I'm tired of talking about them. And really, I'm tired of these guys following me with cameras and lights, like my, like my life is some kind of reality show. Oh. <laughs> my wife, excuse me. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, I'm taking my medication. No, I'm not eating any junk food. Yes. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. <sighs> yes. Yes, I'll see you at the park later. Okay. Bye. <sighs> you know, I'm even tired of my wife checking in on me all the time. I mean, she means well, but, you know, we men, we don't like a nagging woman. You know, it kind of kills the love a little, if you know what I mean. <sighs> yes, sweetheart. Yes. Yes, I remember that we have exercise class tonight at church. Yes. No. I love you too. She means well. You know, research shows that married men have a higher life expectancy and claim to be happier than single men. Hmm. I guess it's really true that he who finds a wife, finds a good thing. You know what? I'm gonna stop being annoying and let my wife help me through this blood pressure thing. Oops, time to get back to work. Uh, look, I'll see you later, and, and please, come by my exercise class tonight. See you. Okay, just like we rehearsed tomorrow night, okay? Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Proud of you. Okay. I am so pleased to see that so many of our neighbors and friends came out once again to this series called Hypertension, The Silent Killer that our church launched at the request of my husband, who has finally told this disease to bring it on. <laughs> he is so committed to doing all of the right things to keep himself well. And with that, he not only signed up for an exercise class, but he also took the training in order to train others. So without further ado, I am going to present to you my husband. You all know him as Joe Smith. So get on your feet, put your hands together, and let's get ready to move. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hey, thank you so much, but please be patient with me because uh, i uh, got a long way to go, but God isn't through with me yet. But even though I do have a long way to go, we're going to travel that road together. Now, first, we're going to start off simple, then build up as we go. Tonight, we're going to cover stretching and flexibility. Now, please feel free to ask questions. Honey, I heard that stretching could be dangerous. Is that true? I'm glad you asked that. Stretching and its effects on the muscles is probably one of the most controversial areas in strength training, conditioning, and rehabilitation. There is some evidence that stretching may aid in the prevention of injuries, but many muscle physiologists and skeptics have altering views on the subject. And what we do know about stretching is that it can significantly improve flexibility in a given period of time. One of the biggest myths about stretching is when to do it. Most people think they should stretch immediately prior to any sporting event or intense physical activity. However, this procedure can lead to decreased performance and even injury without proper blood circulation in the muscle. This mode of thought is the result of the most overlooked yet crucial aspect of the most flexibility programs, the warm-up. A total warm-up program includes the following components. It begins with a general warm-up period, which may consist of five to eight minutes of slow jogging or riding a stationary bicycle. The next step is to begin mimicking, with minimal intensity, the sort of movement of the exercise to be performed. For example, if you're going to exercise the biceps using dumbbells, 
simply do the same movement with your body weight, in this case the arms, or with the dumbbells which are 50% lighter than your usual load. This maximizes circulation in the muscle group to be exercised. And finally, stretch the muscle by performing the opposite action from the warm-up movement in the previous step. Now, each step should be held statically for a period of at least 5 to 15 seconds. Do not stretch until it hurts. If there's any pain, stop. Don't bounce. Stretching should be gradual and relaxed. Now there are 10 basic stretch exercises I want to leave with you. The neck stretch, the calf stretch, the spinal stretch, outer thigh stretch, the hip stretch, the butterfly stretch, the thigh stretch, the crossover stretch, the hamstring thigh stretch, and the lumbar stretch.